We are now going to create a new report using BI Publisher. We log in with the BI Publisher administrative rights. Once you get into BI Publisher, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a new data model where we'll be able to bring data from various sources within supply chain to create a new report. So we create a new SQL query and we just give a name and the data source as Fusion Supply Chain. We are not going to write a SQL query, but we're going to use the query builder, which actually helps us to drag and drop and create a new data model. So we are going to bring data from, let's say for starting with work order information. So we bring the data from work orders and then work order operations and then work order operation materials. And then we also need to bring the work order OSP action details which holds the PO information etc. We also now need to create a join because each of these table holds only the inventory item ID. We are going to bring an information from the inventories item table which is EGP system items. So we bring it and we have to create a join for each of the table like the work order operation holds the OSP material, operation material holds the materials that are being shipped. The next thing we need to bring is data from PO tables like PO supplier information, PO header, PO supplier site information so that we can get the address. In terms of creating a join, it's extremely easy and drag and drop. So I'm going to link the organization ID of the work orders to the work order operations. Similarly, from the work order operations to work order materials. Now, as you can see, I've created all the joins. We also choose the output that we want, the work order number, the operation number, OSP item, the OSP materials from the operations. If you look at this is the condition that is created based on the fields that we have selected. And the system automatically creates a SQL for us without any uh, as well. And if you look at the results, it actually brings the output of all the data that we have created using this new query builder without writing a single piece of code. We are creating a new report where we use the existing report builder within BI Publisher. So we have a layout and I have created all the information like the material, which is addendum to shipping document, the PO number, the supplier address, work order number, the OSP item, the operation number, and the material that are being shipped. If you read the report, it generated a PDF for us to attach to the shipping document. We will now see how to invoke a BIP report and automate it using a SOAP service. We use a SOAP UI and all we provide is the link for the report and also the login credentials. And we just have to say the run report query. Once you run the report, it brings out the data in a base64 format. We just copy that and paste it into a source where you can decode a base64 format. And once you decode, you will see the data exactly how it was seen in the BIP report with all the information. Now you have automated this entire report using a SOAP service.